Hello, you guys. It is Crystal Lopez here from crystalincomp.com. How are you doing? I hope you're having an awesome day. Hey, guess what? It Our is field trip. Friday, so it's field trip day. I invited the teenagers to go too, but they were like, so here's what we're doing. We're going to pick strawberries at a, um, it's called Sweetberry Farm. It's about an hour and a half from our house. Um, it's only like 62 or 65 miles, but with traffic and it's not a freeway. So um, it's gonna take us about an hour and 20 minutes or so to get there. Um, but right now you can pick strawberries and you can pick a certain rose. It's the rose that starts with an R. I'll have to look it up. It's, R. it's actually my favorite rose. They're real tight. Oh, are they called ramek? Oh, no, they're not. A ramekin is a dish. Anyway, probably, I can't remember what they're, they're called. Probably called. Um, last month, you could pick tulips. Tulip season is over. They have an incredible, if you are from this area or if you are planning a trip for vacation to this area at some point, they have a great website that and Facebook that they keep updated all the time, like daily. So this morning I checked and, or actually I checked last night before I went to bed and they had said that they had gotten some good rain yesterday, that there were plenty of strawberries, like, you know, tons of strawberries to pick. Uh, you go in and they, you buy a box from them or you bring your box and it holds so much. And apparently it's like $26 to fill the box up with um, strawberries and then the roses are like 75 cents a stem. So this is our field trip for today. To different times of year, they do different things. I think in the fall they do pumpkins, but they're really good at keeping everything updated. So that's good so that you don't drive all the way there. I wanted to do this a few weeks ago. Is everybody seat belted? I wanted to do this a few weeks ago and um, I wanted to do the tulips and thank goodness I read before we went because they said they were done. There was no more. Don't spend your time. Don't waste your time driving here. I asked the teenagers if they wanted to go pick strawberry. I said, do you want to go on the field trip with us today? And they said, where are you going? And I said, I'm picking strawberries. They said, we'll pick strawberries in the fridge, which I thought was pretty funny, but this is going to be a fun educational experience. All right, so we stopped and we had lunch. We went inside and had uh, chicken salad chick. And um, they have the best watermelon tea. It is so good. It is sweet. They only have it in sweet. So I get like this much and then fill the rest of my cup up with unsweet regular tea. It's so good. And then put a bunch of ice in there and it'll water down anyway, and, you know even less sweet as it all melts. Um, anyway, this hour and 21 minute long trip, I feel like we've been stuck in the twilight zone. So these two guys are asleep. They're gonna be very excited when we're there. They'll be like, this was short, such a short drive. Um, yeah, like stopping and eating probably took about 30 minutes. Um, then I had to stop and get gas and I got stuck at a gas station in a little small town that this must have been the only, like everybody was there <laughs> and multiple pumps were broken. And so it was just long lines. And I was down to like 40 miles till empty and I didn't, I couldn't remember how many more gas stations there were and I didn't want to risk it. Um, anyway, and then I just feel like it's just been this long drive <laughs> of this never ending drive. I am now just minutes away. Um, but it's, we're going through a town. We're going through the town of Marble Falls. So it is lots of stop and go, stop and go, and red lights. Anyway, I'm really excited for us to get there, but it's almost two o'clock. Like it's one, it'll be 1.38, I think my GPS said when we arrive there. Um, so. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati I know that some might say that I am 
just a bad girl but if you treat me right i will be the best girl in this whole world no i'm not gonna bite i got my hands on your body so tell me tell me what you want me to do i can be good or be not in So we have arrived and we are going over all the literature that they have and the signage that says what to do, what not to do. We've never picked strawberries before, so we don't know like what makes a good pick. I don't know if they continue to ripen off the vine. Like how does all this work, right? Um, you know, my mom grew some strawberries. I've tried to grow strawberries before. It was not successful. My mom, like I had said, grew strawberries when I was little for a period of time in a sandbox. <laughs> Um, but I don't remember anything about that other than that. So anyway, this place was stunning. I was so impressed. It was so awesome. Really, really enjoyed our time and we just made it educational and fun. Um, and we got out there and we started picking. So as you will see, there is lots of water. It had rained, I had already said that. Really, had I known better, I would have worn rain boots, but I did not really know what to expect fully once we were out there in the trenches, so to speak. Um, but next year I will know that if it has rained, we need to wear um, rain boots because our shoes got super muddy and we were wearing sandals, which got our feet muddy. Um, there were areas that there wasn't so much water and then there were areas where there was just lots of standing water. So as I went, you know, at first I was really, um, like very, very, very selective over anything that I picked. And then I realized, you know what, some of these have little spots on them. That's okay. We can cut that off. Um, you know, the majority of this is a good one since it had rained. Strawberries don't love sitting in water. So some of them were not in perfect shape but then also do they need to be in perfect shape you know as long as we are not picking underripe things we're good um, but look you can see a lot of that water that's out there um, anyway lots of families lots of, of I'm sure there were some homeschoolers like us and then um, just families out doing this was clearly a tradition for many people they really have a good thing going on here. I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to go next year. And let me just remind you, this is a field trip that we took in March, <laughs> the end of March. So I'm publishing this now almost right at two months later. So um, <laughs> a little behind here, but I know you guys understand. Um, my editor that edited this, it's been done and sitting and waiting for me for a month. And I have just had so, we've just had a lot, you know, just lots of stuff going on. And I'm sorry, this has got to be a priority because I know you guys get invested and, um, you know, you want to keep up, you want current content. And so, yeah, I'm trying guys. I'm really, really, really trying. But um, anyway, this was so much fun. We made a lot of memories. There's Luke Henry out there picking. We all had a lot of fun. Don't matter how much time it would take, but there's something you're trying to hide. There's something you're keeping inside, inside. But I'm trying to get to know you much better. Don't matter how much time it would take.
you haven't seen the best of me yet. There's nothing like Okay, so we've got the strawberry field here, and then there is place there's a place for kids to play. There is the uh, field of flowers. That field over there, I don't know if that's strawberries or if that is the beginning of sunflowers, which actually here we are at end of May, mid 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 May, mid end of May. <laughs> and I can tell you that on their Facebook page, sunflowers are now blooming. So if you want to, and they still have berries. So if you want to do sunflowers, go do it. And we took our awesome San Antonio zoo bag. Um, I've got, we've been very diligently doing Friday. We'll do it Thursday or Friday, but usually on Friday. Um, uh, field trips, which is what this is. And the zoo is a place that we've been a couple of times and we really have enjoyed it. Personally, I don't think that the San Antonio Zoo is like, I've been to quite a few zoos. I don't think it's the best, but it is nice and it's smaller. And we've gone a couple of times and I'm glad we have our membership. There's good benefit there and there's lots of other things to see that are connected to um, or right there by the San Antonio Zoo. So I will be sharing some footage of those things as well coming up. Um, anyway, they have these activities that you can pay extra for. Jack got on that bouncing thing. It was pretty fun. So here's the flowers and they've got all the scissors set out. You grab your scissors, they give you a basket and you pay, I forget now how much it is, but per flower, which includes a bud. So if you clip something that has a flower that is bloomed plus two buds, you pay for three flowers. So you want to be careful with what you're picking. And I gave, I allowed Luke Henry to get his own scissors in his own basket and go pick. And boy, did he pick. Finally, I was like, you've got about $30 worth of flowers in there. And you that's enough. <laughs> um, so together, I mean, we, we spent a pretty little penny because we both got lots of flowers. Um, and we got all the strawberries. So this was just a few days before one of my teenagers birthdays he was turning 15 and so we wanted flowers to put on the table and then luke henry knows that my husband my husband's favorite color is pink and so luke henry got him a bunch of um he was focused laser focused on the pink peonies and so that's what he picked all different shades of pink and he made a beautiful bouquet and it was lovely and these flowers lasted in our house for probably close to two weeks they were lovely. I'm so glad we did it and it was totally worth it even though we racked up a really big bill when we went to check out. Um, but yeah, I just, this is just such a neat place. I am excited to go back. Did I mention they had irises that you could pick as well? And those you just pull from the bulb from the ground. And I brought them home and cut them down and put them in a vase and they did great. I suppose that I, I don't know, could I keep the bulb? I need to Google that. I didn't keep the bulb, but could I have kept the bulb and replanted it? I'm not, I don't know how that works. I'm not the green thumb, I'm trying, <laughs> but I'm not the amazing green thumb. Anyway, I think I ended up with six or eight irises they are gorgeous flowers too. Um, but there's Luke Henry over there picking his flowers and there's Jack jumping on the thing. And we just had a great time.
and then Jack came and joined us and picked some flowers. This wasn't his favorite part, but he really enjoyed the strawberries, but we still had fun. So, um, or he still had fun. So here he is looking for some flowers and picking a few. And then he's like, ah, I'm done. <laughs> you can do this mom. You know the world is beautiful, so beautiful. Cause you know the world is beautiful, so beautiful. And I just can't hide how I feel about you. I can't take that away. Cause you make the world so beautiful, so beautiful. Then when you're done you take them back up to that counter and they are counting to see how many flowers and buds and all that that you have um, but they are putting them in solo cups and filling them with water and then that's all of what Luke Henry picked it was gorgeous um, you get to pick your solo cup color they had lots of pastel colors that were perfect for spring and you know Easter time um, and then you transport them home and that is what we did and um, they make it really, really, really easy. So one, two, three, four, five, I guess I got five irises. And then the multicolors of um, peonies. All right, we have been here. I feel like I might have dirt on my neck. We have been here for almost two hours and we're done and we're worn out. And honestly, we did not, all we did was flowers and strawberries. They have so much more here that we did not even do. They've got gift shops. Oh, the boys did, Jack did do the bouncing thing. It's very bouncing. But um, they also have, like you can paint flower pots. You can do so much stuff. Opportunities, there's all kinds of stuff. Ice cream, water, a train ride. I cannot imagine this place on a Saturday, but we had a lot of fun, even though we only did the flowers and the strawberries. Yeah. Here is one of my big things of strawberries. And then we have enough, this was six pounds, I think she said. And then we have a pound and a half or so back there with Jack. I'm gonna try it. Good. It's not clean, but that's okay. They were rained on last night. The flowers, I referred to them as roses and I said they were my favorite kind of rose. The guy said, don't call them roses, they're not roses. He said, you'll make them wilt and cry. So guys, what'd you think? He's eating strawberries. All right, we're going to head back. Whew. I guess it's good. I guess. I'm worn out. This was fun, right? I guess, but I got bit. First, of, I saw a big beetle. And then a bug flew on my face. And, I and it bit him. I yes, think it was a I horse fly. Out. Yeah, so I think I it was a horse fly. Well, it, was it was fun. We're going to head home. to Blanco, Texas, which is a little town um, that is probably 30, 40 minutes from my house. And we have passed this uh, 
place before. Look, I have mud all over my feet. We all had mud all over our shoes. And now at this point it's dry, but we um, needed to come home and, and throw our shoes in the washer and scrub our feet. Anyway, I had passed this many times and I've wondered what was here. And it is a, goodness, let me see if I can remember. So they have gelato and they have um, coffee and then they have other things. You can see these things here. But it is water buffalo milk is what all of this espresso, well, not the espresso, but the um, gelato and some of the other things in the store like those cheeses. Um, and I think their creamer for the coffee was made from water buffalo milk. Anyway, it was incredibly interesting. The boys had gelato and believe it or not, those are little bitty cups. And then I had a coffee. It was, it was very rich, but it was good. It was really good. We would go back. It was fun. I really enjoyed stopping in there. I'm glad that we did. I would 100% go again. And I think if I had my husband and the bigger boys with me, they would have tried some of the meats and cheeses. Very, very neat. So if you're ever going through there, stop by there. And then in this same town, there's also a donut shop that if you go through early enough, literally some of the best donuts I've ever had. And I think it's called Blanco Donut right, Shop. So I we think. just stopped at this creamery. I have seen the facility multiple times when we've driven through here going from San Antonio to Dallas, if we've taken this highway. And this is in a little town called Blanco, Blanco, Texas. Anyway, so they got the gelato. It is made from water buffalo milk, which is super interesting and cool. He said that it's very common in New England, I think he said. Um, so, what do you guys think? Look, super good. You like All right, sounds incredible. And then I got a, an espresso, a hot latte. I didn't get an espresso, I got a hot latte with their homemade vanilla syrup. So let's see how this is. Oh, nice. Very smooth, very good. And they use Merit Coffee, which Merit is a big coffee company in San Antonio. Mm. Very good. That is nice. All right, we're gonna, we've got 30 minutes left and then we'll be home. Love you too. No, he likes pink. Mom, what color do you like? Mom, does that love pink? Mm-hmm. Does he like yellow? Oh, yeah. I like yellow too. <laughs> I'm glad I picked him a yellow flower. What's what? That's leftover cheesecake and stuff. All right, so fast forward, and we are going to use a bunch of these strawberries to make a um, strawberry trifle for my 15 year old's birthday or our 15 year old's birthday. So um, we cleaned the strawberries, put them in the fridge, and then the next day is when I'm making this. And so what we're doing is we're taking two of the Sara Lee um, pound cakes and I'm, see how I'm cutting it into strips and then into thirds to make diced pound cake <laughs> and um, throwing all of that in a big bowl and we're doing two of them because we want to fill up that entire trifle dessert holder with all of this stuff um, and honestly truth be told I probably could have used three of those pound cakes for the amount of strawberries and whipped cream that I ended up using but we live and we learn right was left of the strawberries we actually ate probably two pounds of them while we were cleaning them and preparing them for the refrigerator and um, like they were so good we all really really enjoyed them so this is what was left um, I think there might be one more bowl that I bring out from the fridge but um, yeah this is what we've got
did you know that you could make your own whipping cream just by buying the heavy whipping cream or the heavy cream and you do what I just did. I added some powdered sugar to it. You don't have to do that. Um, honestly, looking back after we made it, so we're just testing it to make sure, is it too sweet? Is it good? Is the consistency good? I could have let it whip a little longer so that it would have been a little firmer. I would have liked to have, I would have liked for it to have been a little firmer, but at the moment, I thought it was fine, but as we make this, it became, even though I put it in the fridge afterwards, it became a little soupy, um, a little soupier than I wanted, but we live and we learn. Okay, so now we're going to add all the layers in here. I decided to cut these uh, pound cake pieces up a little bit smaller so I'm winging it as I go I'm like what do I want it what do I want this to look like how do I want this to um, finish product to be so I'm just gonna layer it like a lasagna I'm literally winging it so I decided that I really wanted the strawberries before I wanted the pudding so then I'm like okay just kidding now we're back to pudding <laughs> so there's that um, yeah winging it but it turned out it was very delicious and there's my husband and in just a minute he's going to be like hold on I think you should do it this way and so he kind of um, takes over some a little bit but that's okay like we this is we complement each other in this way like we are both very much um, we're good at hey have you thought about doing it this way and kind of helping each other out in that way um, so yeah, that's what we're doing here. And that was actually a great idea. He flattened all that out. And uh, from the side view, looking at all of the dessert in the glass, truffle, trifle, whatever, trifle, once it's all assembled, um, that flattened look is definitely a cleaner look. So let's finish making this. So let me just tell you, our entire marriage has been me saying, hey, I have this idea for this. And he's like, okay, like together, let's make this happen. He, I can have an idea and he knows all of the execution for it. Used to when I would do, I did the Dallas Morning Show, Good Morning Texas, often when we lived in the DFW area. And um, I would be like, okay, they called and they want a segment that is games around the world. And I have an idea that we could do this kind of thing. I have absolutely no idea how to make that happen. And he's like, okay, I'll build it. This is how you do it. This is what, he's so good at that. But he's really good at presentation being very pretty. Um, so I was glad to have his help. Although I did not, I wish, I would not have done this part where he used the spray, um, what is that called? The spray Cool Whip or spray whipped cream. I would have left it the way that it was with the strawberries on top. For a couple of reasons because i think it looked better i don't think we needed all of that whipped cream <laughs> i was really like what why are you doing that um however it's definitely very birthday -y, you know and it ended up pretty but then we also had a problem getting it in the fridge so we had to like take shelves out of the fridge <laughs> to make it fit i had made space for it to fit at a certain height right anyway it all worked out it was yummy we had a bunch of people over it was a great birthday um and it, it served as a great birthday cake and it was a great way to use up the strawberries we had fun we made memories it was awesome my fridge is 
a mess, but we had salmon for the birthday dinner, so you can see those salmon fillets that are up there. We got them at HEB. It was a yummy dinner. Great birthday. Okay, so there is the birthday cake trifle all done. It was super yummy. So here's what we did this year. We put pictures, we've done this, we did it when our twins turned 18. We did it for Matthew's birthday when he, this, that's this one right here when he turned 15. We just did it for Luke Henry's birthday as well. So I printed a bunch of pictures from over the years that I had in the cloud and on my Facebook. And these are all of our memories, 15 years of memories for Matthew. So the Christmas he got a fridge for his room that he was so excited about, that picture of him and Lenny, there's a story behind that. It is so beautiful. I, that is one of my favorite pictures. Matthew, when he was born, fresh out of the oven. Matthew with McCoy, who is the family dog that everybody loves. Matthew with Grandma Lopez, who he adores. Matthew, the day that he was born. I did not know he was a boy. I, it was a total surprise. Um, we did not, I did not find out the gender. Matthew, that birth with that picture with me and him together, that was COVID birthday. We made a cosmic birthday cake, his hamburger birthday cake. That was him when he played baseball. He was so precious. Um, oh, this all just makes me want to cry. Um, my sister in law took those pictures of him when he was little bitty, his first birthday actually. That's him with a bunch of his brothers. Um, that third birthday where he was wearing the mask and the hungry caterpillar shirt. Same sister-in-law took pictures multiple years for us for Christmas and that picture of him sitting and looking up at me, that is from those pictures. There's, I mean, just the year we had his name put into donuts. Um, goodness. The year we were at a restaurant and he had a hat on and he took the hat and put it on my head and he thought it was so funny. There's Christian, Kelsey's son, and I know you guys love a good Kelsey update. She and the kids, and I think David was here too. I can't remember if he was working or not for Matthew's birthday. It was a great time. And then Lenny and his dad. It was such a great picture to capture. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you're having a great week, weekend, a great month. We'll see you in the next video. Oh, no. Can we trust this that's about to let us know? I'd go.